Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Ali Reza Firouja and Richard Report. This is a game from the Candidates Tournament 2022. Firouja had white pieces and he started with e4. Report played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6. The Spanish game, knight to f6, the Berlin defense. d3. Bishop to c5, castling, knight to d4, knight takes on d4, bishop takes on d4, c3, bishop to b6, white to move. Knight to d2 is the most played move, but knight to a3 is also a popular one. Firoja played knight to a3, c6, bishop to a4, d6, bishop to b3, queen to e7, knight to c4, bishop to g4, queen to e1, bishop to c5, king to h1, and now a5, white to move. f4 was played, intending to open the f-file for the rook. a4, bishop to c2, b5, f takes on e5, d takes on e5, white to move. Perhaps knight to e3 was expected. Firoja made it interesting by playing knight takes pawn on e5, temporarily sacrificing the knight. Queen takes on e5, d4, forking the two pieces. Bishop takes on d4, c takes on d4, Queen takes pawn on d4, white to move. Bishop to e3, sacrificing the second pawn. And of course, the offer was accepted. Queen takes on b2, queen to f2, bishop to e6. Let's take it back. How about castling? Is that a good move? Then bishop to d4. And if the queen moves to a safe spot, what happens then? Back to our game. Bishop to e6 was played. Bishop to d4. Queen to b4. White to move. Black didn't castle. So white didn't want to play bishop takes knight. Bishop to c5 was played attacking the queen and preventing castling now. Queen to c3, rook from a to c1, rook to d8, bishop to b1, queen to e5, queen to h4. Black is two pawns up, but has a difficult position to play. Bishop to c4 was played attacking the rook. h6 should have been considered. Back to our game. Bishop to c4 looks good on the surface. The bishop is attacking the rook on f1, and black is also threatening to capture the bishop on c5. But white has a solution, and the solution is rook to f5, queen to b2, rook to g1. According to some commentators, Rook to e1 would be a better move. Rook to g1 was played. Bishop to e6 attacking the rook. White to move. Instead of moving the rook, queen to g3. Very cool move. Knight to d7. Let's take it back. If bishop takes rook, what happens then? Then pawn takes bishop. And black is a problem. The open e file and the white is also threatening to capture the pawn on g7. So this position is not acceptable to black. The rook is a taboo. Knight to d7, bishop to d6, queen to d4, rook from f to f1, h5, e5, queen to g4 offering to trade queens, Queen to e3, indeed, if the queens are traded, then black is better. Back to our game. 
Firoja played queen to e3, h4, h3, queen to h5, bishop to e4. The white light squared bishop is very hungry. And all the black pawns on the queen's side are on the light squares. Queen to h6. Queen to f3. f6. Bishop takes pawn on c6. King to f7. Bishop takes on b5. Queen to h5. Another offer to trade queens. Queen to e4. Knight takes on e5. Bishop to e2. If bishop takes on e5 then black would probably play rook to d5 but white is still better after bishop takes pawn on f6 believe it or not because after pawn takes bishop to c4 back to our game Firoja played bishop to e2 attacking the queen queen to g5 white to move how would you continue now Feruja played bishop takes on e5 and richard report resigned in view of this continuation queen takes bishop queen takes queen what do you think of this game and that is all I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.